my dad has basically introduced me to like amazing music from all around the world, all kinds of all kinds of music basically from my whole childhood. I remember listening to a lot of punk when I was younger, um, a lot of uh, 70s, 80s music, just and jazz, classical, everything. So I sing opera as well. <laughs> so it's kind of like drawing in from all my influences of my childhood. I started writing songs at about six years old and pretending to be on top of the pop. <laughs> so, uh, lots of uh, keyboard little tunes that I perform for my parents uh, about sort of boys and sit really silly songs. But um, yeah, I've literally written songs my whole life, so uh, it's just been a question of getting them ready to show to people, which I decided at 23 I wanted to do that. When I had songs I could have been performing from the age of about 16, you know. So yeah, it's been very recent that I started to share them with the world, which is a really exciting time for me. First time I sung a, a My Name is Tallulah in a Bugsy Malone musical when I was <laughs> 13 years old. Uh, I realised how much I enjoyed singing uh, to people. Yeah. I've been kind of getting more and more paid paid gigs so that's really good so the dream the dream is to be able to find myself with my projects like this um, and it's already starting to happen so that's nice I honestly I feel there's nothing else for me to do honestly music is just in my blood I have to do it so it's not a case of not writing songs I'd always be writing songs and I'd always always be singing and then I realized people liked them some people like them obviously not everyone few people like them so I just think that it's just stupid not to do it if it comes naturally to you and there's a way of making money out of it then just pursue it and try and do it because I wouldn't enjoy any other job and that's the honest truth and there's been a few times now where we've been like around a bonfire or something or in someone's house and someone puts my song in it that is amazing to know that people actually want to spend three minutes listening to something that I've created on my own it's amazing and that's what the reason people do this is to give people something and to try and change someone's point of view or to try and make someone feel something something someone can go back to and listen to and it makes them feel better or makes them feel something else. That's why we do, we do this. Uh, Patti Smith, uh, 2007, at the Hammers, no, at um, Shepherd's Butch Empire. Uh, and it was just out of this world, like, completely changed my life. <laughs> and she just turned into some kind of god on stage. And it was like I was in some kind of strange religious... Literally just wanted to pass out. But I didn't want to pass out. I wanted to keep watching her forever. She's, she was incredible and that performance just was so powerful. I would always be striving to create something like that on stage, but, you know, it's just, she brings completely herself onto stage and that's all. Uh, there's no, like, pretenses at all. And she's just so powerful and that's what I love to see. I love to see women like that on stage. Yeah, the power, it really shows the power of word as well. I find lyrics really important as well. Just her speaking as well as singing. And she has the true, true rock and roll. She's just so rock and roll. <laughs> She's still as powerful now at 60 as she was, you know, in the 70s. So it's amazing. I think she's incredible. But that was one of the, one of the performances that changed my life. Maybe the biggest one.